Hi everybody, my name is Scott Lawson. I'm a senior solution architect with Astra Canyon Group. Astra Canyon Group is a platinum reseller and service partner for IFS. Today we're going to do a brief introduction into the IFS cloud solution, but before we jump into a live software demonstration, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the primary markets and industries that the IFS cloud solution and Astra Canyon Group support. IFS does not try to be a piece of software and ERP solution for all industries. It focuses on a certain segment within, within certain industries so that both IFS and HCG can become industry experts in those uh, industries. Those industries include aerospace and defense, energy, util utilities and resources, construction and engineering, manufacturing, service industries, and telecommunications. You may notice that all of these industries have a common thread that they are all asset intensive industries. Therefore, the, the Astra Canyon Group and the IFS solution focus on these asset intensive industries and provides a, a deep and broad solution within these, uh, within these industries. So with that in mind, let's jump into the product demonstration. Again, this is going to be a very brief introduction into the IFS cloud solution, what it looks and feels like and how it, how it uh, serves these industries. We start in the IFS cloud solution in what's called a lobby, and a lobby is a number of things, but number one, it's a menu to drive you to the locations and the functions within the IFS cloud solution that you want to see. So what I have open now is maybe a high level lobby for one of those industries. There's a series of lobbies for each one of those industries we mentioned earlier. This is a project based engineering and manufacturing solution lobby. There'll be a, a list of submenus, including supporting processes and business processes, all the way from CRM and getting new customers to service and providing aftermarket uh, service to those customers that need repairs and maintenance after the, uh, the product project is delivered. Today, we're going to focus in on one of these that's basically common across all industries, and everybody that, that looks at this probably has a procurement department. So let's click into a procurement lobby. We'll go from a solution-based lobby to a functional-based lobby. When you get down to a procurement central, is the name of this lobby, you get uh, your, your KPIs, your metrics, and the things you want to measure on a day-to-day -day basis, everything from maverick spending to cost savings to, to change orders and things like that. A lobby is basically, uh, it drives your KPIs and drives you to the, to, the, uh, to the weaknesses within your business so you can fix those weaknesses. The KPIs are of your design, and there's a standard batch of KPIs that are available to you within those lobbies from a, a functional perspective. From here, a user, a role, can get down to their actual operational lobby to where there's more information, there's actual transactions, there's, there's graphics and statuses, and you can see a list of all those things and how your actual department is functioning. So I'll dry, drill down to more of a role-based lobby, an operational procurement, where maybe a procurement manager or, or buyer or, or approver might focus their day. Within this lobby, you'll see I have some sub lists. How many plan requisitions do I have from MRP or from reorder points or from people in my people in my organization who have requested things? Show me a summary of all the purchase orders. Show me a list of all those late purchase orders. Show me a links to other lobbies and graphics to, to see how we're doing from within a procurement perspective. I like to focus on this as a management by exception. You don't really need to look at a large list of the purchase orders that are out there. There could be a large volume of those transactions. But within the IFS cloud solution, these lobbies, they function as a management by exception tool set. So what do I need to authorize? I can see that there's one requisition that's awaiting my authorization. The user, you can drill down into that and function from within that list of management by exception and focus on the one that you need to authorize or the seven that are late and you need to focus on why the parts are coming in late. So we'll we'll focus for the, the, the course of this demonstration just very quickly from a lobby to manage by exception those items that I need to approve. When you click down into that list, it gives you a list of those purchase requisition lines that somebody else has requisitioned that I as a user need to approve. I can see that Steve has bought a conference projector 9081. He needs an approval. It went over a threshold that Steve needs an approval for. I can click on that list of one record that I need to authorize. I can look at the details or I can drill into the record and see what's going on with that requisition, what, what needs to be done. It shows me that an authorization is required. 
I can review the line, go to the authorization, and actually authorize and acknowledge that purchase requisition request. And then when I go back to my standard lobby, I can see that now my awaiting authorization is down to zero and I have released it and authorized it. The management by exception tool set is really allowing you to focus in on those anomalies or exceptions, manage those, get your work done for the day. As soon as you worked all your uh, all your numbers down to zero, you basically have completed your task for the day and you're able to move forward and do, do uh, other things. With that in mind, I would like to focus in. I just did a very quick procurement lobby series. This is a, this is a, a functional list. IFS calls it the Jeopardy chart. It looks like the Jeopardy screen. It shows you all the different functionalities that exist and all the different models and, met, and metrics that are subdivided within those lobbies. From the CRM we talked about earlier to e-commerce and commerce and sales, finance, human capital management, project deliverables, procurement, manufacturing, supply chain, service, asset management. And there's additionally an aviation maintenance, which gets into the deep functional maintenance processes for, for airplanes and aviation. But each one of these functions, each one of these blocks, you can pause this recording, look at this in detail. Every one of the blocks within this tool set has a series of lobbies to where each one of these type functions can be measured and managed by exception and allows a user to go in and actually drill down and see those exceptions that we talked about within a procurement functionality and they all function the same within a lobby tool set and a very structured flow and a very uh, uh, management by exception methodology so again a very brief look at the ifs solution how it functions what it looks like. Um, if you'd like more information, like to talk to anybody here on our uh, Astro Canyon sales group, there's an email provided here for you to get in contact and gather further, further information. That email is sales at astrocanyon.com. I appreciate your time today. Thank you.